The, the GSA began in my living room. A few uh, students went to um, a faculty member in the, in the psych department uh, and asked if there could be some sort of a support group for gay and lesbian students on campus. And so she uh, contacted me because I had uh, been connected with, with uh, gay and lesbian issues. I said, fine, come to my house in Oakland. So we literally met under, under cover of darkness for a while. That is, at night. And, <laughs> yeah. and we were not uh, allowed on campus, or we wouldn't have even thought of uh, coming to the campus. Only the purpose of it was just to provide a place of refuge for gay and lesbian students. Mm -hmm. But as the years went by, students being students kept pushing to come to the campus to become uh, first to just meet on campus to be allowed to meet on campus and the administration was opposed to that at first um, so it was a struggle to get on campus and eventually we petitioned for full club status and the amazing thing now is that the GSA is one of the most active clubs on campus yeah but now it is a place for both gay and straight students to uh, meet each other and, and to um, acknowledge diversity, uh, sexual diversity especially among human beings, mm -hmm. and a uh, place to meet people, I'm sure. Yeah. And this began uh, when, we, we, when we decided that we wanted to come to the campus. One of the issues was precisely how do you um, reconcile a, a gay club on campus with a Catholic teaching that homosexual behavior is um, wrong and so we threaded the needle. Are we? Uh, the argument was you can have a gay club on campus without fostering uh, homosexual sexual activity. Because after all, any sexual activity outside of marriage is immoral according to Catholic teaching. And we have dances and we allow heterosexuals to meet each other. There's a definite tension between the fact that, that the official, oh, the college proclaims itself as being Catholic and the Catholic teaching uh, on sexuality is pretty clear including on birth control and abortion and all that other stuff. Yeah. Whereas most faculty members and most students, I think, don't agree with the official Catholic teaching. It's not just about the, the gay issue. This campus struggles with its connection with Catholicism every day. Focusing on a few individuals who are hateful isn't helpful. I, 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 I also am not a big fan of victimology. That is, I'm really not a big fan of, of uh, proclaiming to the world how we've been abused. Mm -hmm. I, I find this counterproductive. If you want to call people fags, fine. As long as you're not, you know, taking money away from me or keeping me from getting married or hitting me. Uh, yeah. You know, it's your life. You know, you're hurting yourself by being an idiot. Because you get this reverse victimization where conservatives feel that they're being victimized, you know, like... Yeah, for sure. We straight people are being victimized because we're not allowed to speak our minds, blah, blah, blah. Well, freedom of speech thing, right? Speech, yeah. It may mean something different to every person that's involved, but to me, it's really about creating a strong student movement on campus that recognizes you know, sexual freedom as not necessarily a deviancy from like teachings of Catholic faith, but really like something that we should embrace as part of our culture here. It's working to build a student movement where people feel involved in something, people feel like they can really truly express themselves without, you know, feeling afraid of anybody persecuting them or anything like that. Um, a place where people can express their voices, their independent voices as different beings who express sexuality in different ways. Uh, and a place where we can come together and really make an impact on this campus. Uh, involvement fair table at the beginning of the year. I feel like everyone who came up to me and was like, oh, you're in GSA, like, I'm so excited for the bash. And I, was, I just realized how many people pay attention. Performances, monologues, dance, spoken word skits that just deal with um, issues in the LGBTQIA community. It was just really cool to see different people's points of view because you had like allies doing pieces and people who were like actually gay doing pieces and it was interesting to see the like how they mixed. It was my first one but something I had written was performed and I didn't have the guts to do it myself but someone did it for me 
And I had people coming up to me like they heard my name, like someone had said it close by to me. And they came up to me, people had never met me before in my life, and they're like, oh my god, you're her. And they got really excited about what I had written, and they're like, you made me cry. And it was just really interesting to see it, because no, nothing I had ever written had been performed before. And so it was really interesting to see how my work affected other people, and just that it touched other people. It didn't just resonate with me, it touched like all of them as well. It, it always, you almost get amazed because you, you're like, well, we think about this and talk about this all the time, you know, and the bash is just an opportunity for other people to, to hear it, and they're like, wow, this is this amazing, like, brand new thought I had in my head today, you know, like, well, there's people who experience that all the time, and that's what the whole thing's about, I think. I mean, the conference is amazing and empowering and a life changing experience. In the spring we go to this gigantic like queers and ally student conference and um, the best way to describe it is like at least for me is like gay mecca so it was just a lot of fun. As somebody with heterosexual privilege you really don't know how it feels to be gay so when you go you know we went to UCSB and like you're the minority because you're straight and you're like, oh, this is, this is just awkward. Like, now I know how that 10% of the entire world population feels when they have to walk around in a straight world. I was at one of the conferences and they, at that conference, they did a vote and they took A off of their letters because they were taking Ally off. Kind of, they wanted to make the space just for the queer community. So that was, and then I'm there and then everyone knowing me is like, well, wait, like, you know, he helps us out so much on campus and, you know, like, what do we do if we're just, like, excommunicating the allies from this kind of, this kind of <clears throat> information? So, for me, it's just kind of like that, as an ally, going to that, it's acquiring some trust and just being on this, um, this, like, iffy ground where some, you tell, you try to tell someone you're straight and they're like, they're like, well, you're at this gay conference, like, I don't, I don't get, wait, what it is, what's going on. So maneuvering through that um, has helped me realize, you know, what kind of experiences it is to, you know, when you go out to Denny's after the conference and you're with like everybody who's gay and half the people in Denny's have never seen like a gay person that they know of, you know, you have to deal with those things on a real level. gigantic green poster about um, our very first GSA meeting mm -hmm. and uh, somebody basically went up to it with a pen just defaced the whole thing putting really inappropriate material on it. The fact that we were able to come together and hold a rally about like why this why this is wrong and why this shouldn't be happening on a campus like this mm -hmm. Um, was really nice. A group of guys who, after we painted it rainbow, went up and painted it over with some other stuff, you know, or whatever. And the truth is, the school sent out an email saying that this is an act of intolerance. But those, those sort of controversial events, they bring out that, that drive in the students. You know, that's, I mean, hell, that poster defacing at the beginning of the year, that's what started all of this in motion right now. And that's what led to the fact that we had 65 members at our first GSA meeting and what led to the fact that the lounge has easily 130 people at every single attendance of it. You know, it's always, always like standing room only in there because everybody is really feel, when you get controversial events like that, people feel more motivated to act. Those who are, who are Christian on campus, it really depends on what kind of Christian you are. Um, some people love us. Like, they, we have a lot of administration staff and faculty who love us and want to help us and whatnot, but then there are others who see no place for us. They feel like we're subversive, whatever that means. I don't know exactly what they think because they don't come to our meetings or they don't know what we do, so I don't understand how they can say there is a group on campus that is actively working to get the GSA removed, like say that we shouldn't exist, yeah. you know, and that we are contrary to the teachings of sexuality that the Catholic faith lays out. And the truth is like, you know, we have 
And the, the reality of it is that we just have a different perception of what St. John Baptist de La Salle meant by respect for all and an inclusive community. We think that actually should means that you should respect all people and have a community that includes everyone. Uh, it was a place that started off as it's okay for anyone that identifies within the LGBTQIA community to go. And, and I'd like to stress that it's also safe for allies to go. Like if you're an ally, you can say you're an ally and you'll be safe, as well as the rest of the LGBTQI community. The, the trainings are great and they, and basically what they do is they tell you the ways you can be an ally, the ways that you can set up your space to be a safe place. We have it easier than other Catholic campuses with the GSA. Um, <clears throat> when we go to the conference, we're one of like two or three private schools. There's an email going around right now with a bunch of GSA presidents um, nationwide Catholic, on Catholic campuses and people saying that like their administration won't let them do events and because they don't fit in with the Catholic doctrine. So we're a lot more free with what we can do here because we have the administration on our side. Here at St. Mary's, like, it's been really great. And the fact that, like, Brother Ron Gallagher came to one of our meetings and says, hey, we want to help you guys out. I thought that was amazing, that a brother came over and said, we want to help you. And it's the president of our school, so. Maybe this year is the first time where it's, like, cemented that for the upcoming years, um, you know, part of the social justice that the school is trying to accomplish, you know, has to do with the GSA. The fact that we sort of don't, we don't just look like one set of people. We sort of, we all look, we all look different. We're all from different groups of people, different backgrounds. So it sort of opens up and makes others feel more comfortable coming in. For me, like recently, I realized that I shouldn't get disappointed by only having an event and only having ten people show up or something like that, because I'm realizing more and more that like, even though there are queer students who don't attend GSA. Um, there's probably there's probably queer students who don't attend GSA, but came to St. Mary's solely because there was a GSA. St. John Baptist de La Salle had a similar message. You know, it was allow everybody to get a good education. He was arrested for teaching the poor. You know, like he. I'm pretty sure that if like one of the little beggar girls that he was teaching enjoyed the company of another little beggar girl, he wouldn't have turned her away. You know, and it's the same thing that this school should be doing. It's a love everybody kind of thing. It's a we should care about all our students. Try to acknowledge the, the voices that aren't heard, whether they are gay or straight. Like, it really doesn't matter if you go to our club or not. Like, in some way, we represent everyone on campus.